Hi there, my name is Will, and we're finally at the last part of the week. Now we've managed to get everything working with Postgres as well as BigQuery in our workflow orchestrator. So now what we're gonna look at is how we can deploy Kestra to the cloud using Google Cloud, and then use our Git Sync plugin to be able to allow us to be able to synchronize things together. Now we have dedicated videos to both of these, so I'd recommend checking those out and then you can combine the knowledge together. Now to start with, we have a 15 minute installation guide for Google Cloud that will show you how to set up both your storage using GCS, how to use Google Compute Engine to be able to run Kestra itself, and how you can set up a Postgres database as well for storing all of the data related to Kestra. That video will then get you set up with an instance of Kestra running in production. Now we have a separate video on how to work between dev to prod, dev being your local environment that we've been using for all these examples and prod being that new one in Google Cloud. And we can use both a GitHub action to synchronize the data from one to the other, as well as using a Git repository to take data that's been pushed from our local instance to get and then we can sync that to the cloud on either a schedule or using a webhook to make it event based. So I'll put a link to that video as well in the description as that will be really useful for helping you get set up. Now to go into a little bit more detail as well, we have dedicated videos on our Git plugin. Now let me just clarify what the Git plugin does. Now there are sort of two groups of tasks. There are sync tasks and push tasks. Now on your local development, you're gonna use a push task to both push your flows and your namespace files. So that would be any of your workflow logic, but also the code that you've written to go with it. Now in our scenario, we won't have any namespace files as standard we'll just have our flows. So we can push our flows to a Git repository directly from Kestra. And then we can use a sync flows task inside of our production instance to be able to sync those flows from our Git repository to Kestra. It's not gonna pull them per se, it's literally going to download them and replace what's there. If there's any conflicts or whatever, you're not gonna have any issues. So once we've done that, we'll then be able to then automatically move flows from our development instance over to our production instance using GitHub. I'll leave links to all of the Git explainer videos as well to help you get started. But hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can stick all of those building blocks together to help you build powerful workflows that run automatically in production.